Hello, thank you for joining me for the webinar about cleaning data with Tableau Prep. My name is Anya Basietova and I'm a part of a DS17 cohort at the Data School at the Information Hub in London. Uh, this, is, this webinar is a part of uh, Learn What the Data School Learns. And um, while we're waiting for some people to join, I would like to give you a, a short intro on what this webinar will cover and uh, uh, what is the information lab and the data school. Uh, if you would like to ask any questions throughout the webinar uh, about uh, the material we're going to cover, please use the chat uh, boxes uh, which are available in the lower part of the screen. Uh, also, while we are having our intro, uh, please download materials using the link uh, which is located in the lower part of the screen, uh, https at um, columntil.bi slash tableau prep. You should be able to see when you uh, follow this link, you should be able to see all these folders and the presentation which we're going to look at today. Uh, so please download all of these folders. So before we begin, uh, let's look at uh, the information lab and um, uh, what kind of services we offer. So uh, we help people make sense of data uh, working in eight different offices across Europe. Uh, our services can be broken down in four major streams. It's uh, training, consultancy, uh, sales of licenses for Tableau and Alteryx, and uh, also free support uh, for clients uh, find the licenses from us. Here's a small sample of our clients. As you can see, we work with the big international companies as well as uh, some local charities and non-profit organizations. And as a part of the data school, I would like to talk a little bit about this program. So uh, the data school is a two and a half year program, uh, which uh, gets cohorts starting every two months. Uh, in February, April, June, August, October, and December. Uh, it provides four months of initial intensive training in uh, Tableau, Alteryx, and um, other uh, technical uh, skills related to data analysis and data visualization. And afterwards, uh, we have six, uh, six months placements. We have four placements uh, throughout the, the two years. Uh, and uh, we have uh, ongoing support from the team in the information lab and from uh, uh, other data schoolers as well. If you're interested in applying and learn more about the program, uh, I would encourage you to visit the link in the top part of the page, the dataschool.co.uk slash apply to see more about the process. Uh, if you will have any questions about the data school and application process, feel free also to uh, put your questions in the chat area. And uh, before we start I would, uh, looking at Tableau Prep, I would like to uh, look at the whole universe of Tableau products. Uh, and uh, they can be seen as uh, working in three major uh, sections of uh, data analytics. So first, we need to prepare our data, uh, prepare and clean it, and we can use uh, Tableau Prep for these purposes. Uh, next, once the data is ready for analysis, we can analyze and visualize it with the Tableau desktop. And uh, next, we can share our results uh, and collaborate with people across um, our company or even with clients uh, using Tableau Server, uploading the dashboards on Tableau Server. So um, today we will try to cover um, the basics of using Tableau Prep, and uh, we'll look at the following steps uh, existing in the software. It's a union, cleaning, pivot, join, and aggregate steps. I will also give you some uh, further resources for you to um, learn more about the software, but also develop your Tableau Prep skills. Uh, and again, for people who join us now, uh, you can download all the material uh, for this webinar using this link in the lower part of the page. Um, you can choose uh, during the webinar to follow me along and do exercises as we go, or you can just um, watch the webinar and then uh, do the exercises uh, in your own time. 
the each folder has the starting flow uh, in Tableau Prep and the ending flow in Tableau Prep. So you can see uh, how certain uh, things were done, how certain processes were um, carried out. So you can also untangle the, the each individual step in your own time. So what is Tableau Prep? Uh, Tableau Prep is self-service data preparation software. Uh, it's basically the first step of the life cycle. I uh, mentioned earlier the data uh, preparation life cycle. It allows you to combine, clean, and shape your data in, in a way that is beneficial for further analysis. It also is a great tool to have an immediate result of your um, manipulations, of your data manipulations. Uh, it, allows you to connect to different data sources and also allows you to go back uh, in uh, changes you made in the same flow and update or um, somehow modify them. And uh, similar to Tableau, it doesn't change, Tableau Prep doesn't change the original data set. So any manipulation you will make, they will uh, not influence your original data set. Uh, so let's look at the Tableau Prep uh, interface to understand what I'm going to refer to in my webinar further on. Uh, you see on the left, there is a, a blue connections pane, uh, I named here with the letter A. Uh, sometimes when you open Tableau Prep, it's hidden and you can always bring it up by clicking on this arrow. Next pane is the top one uh, here marked as le with letter B. Uh, this is the flow pane uh, that shows you your actual flow you're building, all the tools and all the changes you made to your data. Uh, further on, uh, further below that pane is the preview pane, which allows you to see not the, your data at the role level, but more of an overview of each field you have in your data and it allows you to see um, the frequency of certain values appearing and it makes it really easy to navigate your data and have a great overview of um, what's out there before starting your preparation. And the pane below in the, uh, at the bottom of the page is the data grid. That's the preview of your actual data set. So it's great to keep an eye on this pain because it allows you to see how the modifications you apply to your data set influences your final outcome. So now when we are aware of what's where in Tableau Prep, let's start looking at how we can bring data to the Tableau Prep to modify it further. So first we will look at uh, one of the ways to bring and reshape your data, which is a union step. And for that, we will Yes. So for now, we will look at the union step. Uh, so union step is basically bringing together several data sets with the same structure, meaning the same number of columns, same level of aggregation, on top of another. So in our case here, in our example, we have uh, three data sets with exactly the same structure and the same information in columns, field, genre, and uh, um, average rating. So we would like to analyze all this information together. So we want to union them, we want to bring them and create one combined data set. So union will allow us to just put every data set from this group together, one onto another, and have this unified um, table. Let's go and see how we can do it in Tableau Prep. So if you open your uh, copy of Tableau Prep, uh, that's the view you can see. You, if you have worked before in the software, you will see the recent flows you created. Uh, there are also sample flows you can use to understand how different tools work and uh, have examples of um, different applications. Uh, on the right side, you can have links to different training materials and additional helpful resources, some articles on Tableau website. So let's go and uh, connect our data. You can do it uh, 
in different ways. And you can either press this uh, green button and connect to data. Otherwise, you can call out the connections pane, clicking on this arrow on the dark blue uh, banner on the left. And uh, then press plus here and choose which type of data set we would like to connect to. So in our case, we are going to work with the uh, data set about uh, best-selling books. Uh, that can be found in the folder one union in the files you downloaded, uh, folder data sets inside that. And you can see there are four different books, workbooks in Excel format, which we're going to work with and we're going to bring them all together and create one combined data set looking at best-selling books uh, in the month of February. So let's find, let's select in our connections frame, let's select Microsoft Excel as a type of file. and uh, find our folder. So let's start with the document, uh, which is looking at the, the week starting from 7th of February. So that should be the first data set in your folder when you open it. When you open uh, a document, you can see in the connections pane, in our case, it's the workbook, so it appears on the left um, and the top um, section and the connections. Uh, then you have, since it's, a, um, it's an Excel uh, workbook, you have tables, which in Tableau Prep means uh, different tabs, different sheets from this uh, workbook. And we can see that we have seven different um, sheets inside this workbook. So let's bring one, for example, early middle into the uh, flow pane. So to bring the sheet or any other connection uh, in the, uh, any other table, sorry, uh, into our flow, you just click on this uh, tab table and just drag it into the flow. So once you do that, you have your input to create it. And together with that, you get an input uh, pane um, modifications uh, opened up. You can see on the left, you can see different um, options for the input step. We will get back to it uh, in a second. And then on the right, you will see uh, information about this uh, sheet you just brought into the view. You can see that there we have two fields. We have a rank field, which is just a number. Uh, and we have a info field, which is a string field, which is the text. And you can also see sample values. Uh, so in the rank, we have just numbers as expected. Uh, in the info, we have information about the book, which is the title, uh, author, the price for the book, and the ISBN. So that's a great way to have an overview of your data. So we would like to bring, as we discussed before, we'd like to union this information. We would like to have a unified data set for this week in February. So how do we do that? On the left in your input pane, uh, you can see, which is a lighter gray color, you can see that there is an option to bring either a single table or a wildcard union. So let's click on the wildcard union. And we can see here that uh, we have more options to work with. So Let's look at them. Um, you can see uh, where to, which folder you would like to look for the data sets to bring in. In our case, it's uh, the data sets folder, which we use to bring our um, workbook. So that's correct. Uh, then uh, in files, you can choose whether you would like to include or exclude certain files in this data sets folder. In our case, we would like to include them. And that brings uh, the name of the workbook we already connected to Tableau Prep, ABA bestsellers, uh, second, um, uh, 7th of February, 18. Uh, so if you would like to bring all the workbooks that are located in this folder, if you know that they all have the same structure and they are of the same um, uh, type, the same type file type, you can just um, for example, if we want to bring all Excel workbooks from this folder, we can delete the name and put 
asterisk in, in front of the type, file type, um, showing that we would like to bring everything with this file type in the folder datasets into the view we would like to uh, combine all these workbooks. So that's one of the ways to do it. Let's put the name of the workbook back. Another option further down, uh, it's a sheet. So that will allow you to bring, to select whether you'd like to bring all the sheets in the existing uh, workbook, in the workbook mentioned above, or if, whether you would like to exclude some of them. And again, you can set a, a pattern for the, for the tab, which will show, which will tell Tableau Prep uh, which you would like to include or exclude. If you are not, um, selecting any match in Python, if you're not setting any match in Python here, by default, it will include all the sheets available in this workbook. So if we scroll further down, since we didn't put anything in the match in Python for the sheets, we see that Tableau Prep thinks that we would like to include all seven sheets available in this workbook. So that's what we would like to do. Let's click apply. And now we see that uh, some of the sheets in the workbook had um, other further uh, fields included. S something, uh, for example, like last week, weeks on the list. And uh, we can see that for now the sample values is known, but um, we once we bring all the data sets in, we will see that uh, this information is present in some sheets and not in the others. Also, notice that um, Tableau Prep creates uh, new, uh, two new fields when you union your data sets. One is table names, which is the name of the sheet you brought in that allows you to easily navigate your, uh, your data and understand where the information is coming from. Another one is file paths. That's the actual name of your document, where the of this workbook in our case, where the information is coming from. Again, it's very easy to navigate your data to when you have these um, additional columns. So um, let's see uh, what happened with our input tools. Uh, when you have uh, a union inside an input tool, in our case, when you bring all the sheets, in from one workbook together in one input tool, you have that small plus appearing in the input tool icon. That's always uh, uh, a good indicator to pay attention to and understand whether you have multiple sheets there or just one from this workbook. So let's see, maybe let's rename to make it clear, let's rename the this input step to show us that this is information from the whole workbook for the 7th of February, for the week 7th of February. So if you double click on the name of the input tool, early, middle, in our case at the moment, it becomes editable and you can say that this is information for the week of 7th of February 2018. At the same time, you can add uh, more information here for people who are going to work with your flow or as a note for future self, uh, you can click on this add the description uh, label and it again becomes editable and you can uh, comment for future references here. And once you press enter, you see that the comment icon appears uh, next to the name of the input tool. Uh, now it's uh, highlighted gray because the comment is visible. If you click on this icon, on the comment icon, once you see that it becomes just an icon without the gray highlight and the comment is disappeared, has disappeared. But uh, every time you would like to bring it, you just click on this icon and it comes back again. That's a very useful indicator again to see whether there is more information available about your um, data sources, about your inputs. So we brought the first workbook. Uh, how can we bring uh, the rest of the workbooks? in. Um, actually, let's see what how our data looks like uh, from this one workbook. Let's uh, press on this, uh, click on this plus next to our input step and add step, select from the drop down menu, add step option. That by default brings us a cleaning step, which we will look at um, in more details further on. 
but now we can see how our data actually looks like. So in the data grid, in the, at the bottom of your uh, view, you see that we have our rank as expected, info field, then uh, last week weeks on list um, uh, field, and then these two generated fields, table names and file paths. And if you scroll further down, you will see that table file paths will always be the same in this case, but table names will change according to which sheet we are bringing information from. So we just unioned our data set, um, our existing workbook. We unioned all um, different sheets in this workbook together. So now we have one uh, combined data set for information about best-selling books in the week of 7th of February all together. So we would like to do that for uh, other workbooks as well. So we have the combined information for the whole month of February. So we can bring um, these additional workbooks uh, in different ways. We can again click on this connection, select Microsoft Excel, and then select all of the workbooks from here and press open. Otherwise, we can select our workbooks and just drag them to our low pane. And if we close this, we see that uh, there are four workbooks now, our connections pane on the left, in the top, uh, top left corner, you will see that uh, these are all workbooks which we just brought in. Uh, you can see that one of them is highlighted in dark, uh, dark blue, that means that this workbook is currently, this connection is currently selected, and uh, we would like to bring um, all of these workbooks in our view and union them all together. So let's start with oops. Let's see how long Tableau Prep is going to think about that. So in the meantime, while Tableau Prep is trying to think about this quite a simple operation. Um, just to um, talk through the process we're going to do. So we are going to bring in the same manner um, each uh, new workbook uh, into our flow, um, combine the sheets inside each of these workbooks, union them uh, rather, and then union all these four workbooks all together to create one combined data set. I think, um, if you excuse me, I will just restart Tableau Prep instead of us waiting for it. And then back, and the table prep is back as well. So uh, that's the step we already uh, made before the input step, which uh, shows us that um, we would like to bring all the sheets in this workbook. Great. So let's do the same for other workbooks we just brought in. So it's easier to see. 
Um, so let's do the wildcard unit for all of these workbooks. So click apply. Uh, let's rename this one so we know what we're looking at. So this is the 14th of February workbook. Next, we select in connections pane uh, workbook for the week of the 21st of February and uh, repeat the operation, bringing one sheet into the um, flow pane, selecting the wildcard union in the input pane on the in the lower um, part of your page uh, of your screen. Uh, click apply, rename that as well. This is uh, February 23rd, 2018. And the last workbook we have is the week of the 28th of February. So let's bring that in as well and apply wildcard union to this, similar to the previous workbooks. Um, let's rename to have it consistent. And uh, now we have four different input steps, one for each week and one already union inside all the sheets brought together as one table for this week and you can see it uh, with the uh, plus sign next to in the input step. So now let's bring these four workbooks together. That's, uh, that can be done in quite an easy way when you just need to click on the workbook or on the data source uh, input step in other ways um, to you would like to union click on it and hold in your the left uh, button on your mouse just drag it over the input step the data step you would like to union it with so you can see when you drag over another input step you have two labels join and union at the moment we're looking at the union so let's once the label union is activated it has a different highlight you just drop your uh, data set on that and we could have a union step now as you can see uh, union one step appears in the new but to bring them other two workbooks into the same union step let's drag this uh, state input step for the week of the 21st of february onto the union tool we just created and select in this case add so we're saying this add this workbook to the same union. So let's do the same with our last fourth workbook. Just drag it, uh, click on it and drag it to the union tool and drop it onto the add label once it's active. Great. So now we have all four workbooks brought together, union, so they are stuck on top of uh, each other. And we can see that um, Tableau Prep always um, it uses different colors to help you to navigate your processes and uh, understand which uh, data sources information is coming from. So in our case, we can see that we have four inputs in this union step, uh, all color, different colors, and we have two mismatching fields from the seven resulting fields. So let's see, it actually does a very good job of highlighting which exactly mismatching fields uh, from which data sources these mismatching fields are coming from and what their names are. So in our case, we see that we have um, in three data sources, we have a field called info and then one which is colored green. So we can understand that it's the week of, um, of 14th of February. Uh, we can understand that there is a field information which wasn't matched. So maybe it's the same field let's see uh, whether the information in the info and information fields is indeed the same so we can see quickly uh, only the mismatch fields in the union result by clicking this box uh, next to the union results uh, in the uh, preview pane um, uh, which says show only mismatch fields so let's click on it and we can quickly see that indeed the Field from the green input step, which is the 14th of February, is called information, but the information, the data in this field is exactly the same as um, this of the same type, sorry, as the data in the info 
column info field from other three um, workbooks. So we can merge them to have them to, to create one unified field. Let's click on, say, information card on the left and start dragging it onto the info card on the right. And once you drag it and it highlights in this kind of light gray, you see that it gets also, it shows you a label saying drop to merge field. So let's follow Tableau prep suggestion and do exactly that. And now it says that there are no mismatched fields. Let, uh, let's untick this box and see that indeed we don't have any mismatching fields. Everything is looking fine. The color, um, color legend, let's say, on the top in the uh, preview pane uh, shows that all four um, data sources were union correctly and there are no matching, uh, mismatching fields. Sorry. Uh, so great, that's our union step is done. There was a question. Mm -hmm. So there was a question. Sorry. Um, so let's go back. So uh, now when we brought the data in, we can look at the next step of working with it. We would like to clean it now to make it more usable for our further analysis because uh, Tableau Prep also, as I mentioned, generated um, uh, some, some fields which we might not need in our further analysis. So let's see. What can we, let's, let's create a cleaning step first. So to do that, you just press on the, uh, click on the plus sign next to your union step and select add step. And by default, it comes as a clean step, uh, as, a, as this simple bar, and it shows us similar overview of our data. It's the overview of our fields in the preview pane and then the data grid that we want. So uh, let's see what we can do to make it um, better for us to work with this data. Uh, let's maybe first start with removing fields we won't need. For example, we have now duplicated columns, which is table names one and table names. We don't really need um, both of them. So let's maybe remove table names one. Uh, when you, on each card for each field, when you hover in this um, uh, right side, you see this more options menu, which is uh, um, shown as three dots. So if you click on it, you can select the further action you would like to do on this field. In our case, it's just simply removed. So let's select that. Sorry, the, there was a message in the chart. Um, uh, thank you for your question, Danny. I let's see actually while while we are here. Um, let's see if there is a such connection um, available. For, so Danny is asking um, about uh, an opportunity to the functionality in Tableau Prep uh, to bring uh, data from uh, Salesforce. Uh, I don't see it uh, directly mentioned on this list of uh, potential connections, uh, but I'm sure you, you should be able to do it using the other database. Maybe at the moment it's in the process of development and um, it it will be definitely available uh, uh, sooner uh, rather than later due to the uh, Tableau Prep um, always uh, developing and uh, bringing new functionality. So let's go back to our cleaning step. Um, we just removed our column, which was called table names one. Uh, if you decide you don't want to remove it and you want to bring it back, you can look in your changes pane, which is available on your left, 
you can bring it out clicking on this arrow and you can see all the changes, the history of all changes that you applied to the data set. Um, and you can either, in this case, it's just cancel this change. So if we cancel it, we can see that the table appears again. Let's remove it because we don't need it. And uh, let me actually keep this changes pane open so you can see how it will populate. Uh, you can also see any changes you applied next to the step you're using currently. So in our cleaning step now, we see this small icon showing that we removed something. And you can also see once we're going to apply other changes, it will have different labels, there are different icons there. So now let's uh, rename field. For example, the table names field is actually our best starting list. So let's double click on the main table names in its card and just type list here and press enter. So now you can see we have a different name. And on the left, you can see that this change has also been registered. And in this case, we can either cancel it or we can edit it. So if we press here, press on this pencil icon here in the changes pane, uh, you can see that this name field in this card became editable. So we can edit it in our case, we are happy with this. So let's continue further. Uh, next, we would like to um, change our info column and we would like to split it because as you can see, it has all information about the book in one cell. We don't really want that. So let's click on this um, more options menu represented by three dots on the info card and uh, select here split values and select automatic split. So every time you split um, um, Pablo Prep decided to do it in a different way. Let's let's uh, to make sure that we're doing it correctly. Let's split it. Let's use a custom split. So um, that's a good way to introduce this option. Uh, so in our case, we can see that um, different bits of information are split by um, a pipe separator. So you can see this symbol here. Um, so let's do space pipe and in split off we select all. So press split in this uh, dialog box and we can see that when you split um, uh, columns, Tableau Prep brings new splitted columns in the beginning of your view in the um, preview flow. Um, so we see that we have info split one, which is our titles, great. Let's rename this while we're here. Just double click on the info split one name on this card and the type title and press it. Next one is our author, but it's also brought it together with the price of the book because that was not um, split, separated by the pipe. We will get back to it later. So let's skip this down for a moment. And then um, in this, a card for the field info split three, we will again double click on its name and change the name to ISBN, the unique book identifier. Great. So let's go back to the info split two column. Uh, I think we can also split it, but this time let's use not the, maybe not space because we don't need the dollar sign in our work. Let's do a custom split and split it by actually a dollar sign. And um, we would like to have two columns after our split. So let's choose split all again. And when we do that, we have a separate column, separate field for the author name. Let's name that. And we have a separate column for the price. Let's rename that field as well. And now we can get rid of uh, info split two. We, we will remove this field as we don't need that. Remove. And uh, I think we can safely remove the info field because we already extracted information we need from it. So again, uh, click on this more options uh, menu, which is shown as three dots in the right side of the card and click remove. Great. 
So as you, we talked before, uh, on the left in the changes pane, you can see that um, all the changes were made, um, the renaming fields, splitting them and removing them, they all shown here. And as well in the um, clean step, we can see that all the changes are shown at different icons so we can see what we have done there. And now, what else can we do here? Uh, we can, uh, for example, change the date type uh, for the price field because we understand that this is numbers, this is not strings. So let's click on this icon, which is ABC, on top of the name price of the price field part and click on it. When we click on it, we see a different data types appearing. So now it's string, but let's select number decimal because we have decimal points uh, in, the, in our data. And now we see that once the uh, date type changed, uh, Tableau doesn't show all uh, values like it does, for example, in the spring um, type field like author on the left, but it shows it in a summarized view and a summarized um, as if it creates uh, bins for these values and puts them in these bins, uh, trying to provide you with a compact view rather than a detailed one. If you would like to see a detailed view, just click on the more options menu in this card and select uh, view state as detail rather than summary. So if we do that, we see the distribution of different prices across our data set. And you can also use this uh, blue, let's call it mind map, um, on the right to see uh, to quickly navigate your database and see which values are uh, with, what are the most frequent uh, values in your data set and see uh, maybe if you need to pay attention to them. Uh, also if you want to see for example all books which uh, have price of $26 you can click on this uh, we see that there are 26 rows actually we can click on this um, value in the price card and it highlights all the rows, all other rows in the data set where this value appears, which where, yeah. So um, in our case, we can see if we make this pane bigger, we can also see the preview in the data grid in the bottom um, of, the, of our um, screen. We can see all the rows where this price appears and we can understand quickly what, um, which books have this price and uh, what kind of rank they have and uh, uh, what kind of uh, list they appear on. So that's a very useful feature of Tableau Prep. Um, also, we can, uh, another really great feature which allows you to clean the data quite quickly is um, uh, grouping and replacing values in your fields. So for example, for the title field, if you click on the title card uh, for more options and select group and replace, and for now let's replace manual selection, but you also can replace using spelling, uh, common characters or pronunciation. So for manual selection, we can, for example, combine these two books because it is the same book, it just has a longer title in one case and a shorter in another. So we would like it to have a longer title in our data set. So let's click on this 12 rules for life and antidote to chaos title. And that makes it the main uh, value to refer to. And now we can say from the rest of the titles what we would like to group it with. So in our case, it's just 12 rules for life, the short title. So let's tick the box next to it. And we see that now it brought these um, values together and uh, shown us the paperclip icon, making, making us understand that this is a group. There are several values uh, combined together. Great, let's click done. And uh, we see again here, it always will show you, Tableau Prep will always show you that there is a grouping going on and uh, there are several values in this group. And we can see that there are two rows now instead of one for each of the titles. Let's uh, look at another way to reshape your data in Tableau Prep, uh, which is a pivot. 
And for that, I would like to get back to my presentation to make to give you an example so it makes it easy to understand um, how the pivot step works in Tableau Prep. So uh, in general, uh, when we analyze data, we would like uh, each field, each column in our data set uh, be uh, representing one uh, type of information, one type of data. For example, uh, we have um, this table where we have uh, two dragons, Smog and Trogdor, and we have um, information about which types of animals they eat in and how many of these animals they have eaten. But this information is presented um, in just three columns and we can't really um, analyze this information, for example, from the point of view of which animals have been eaten because that's not a separate uh, dimension in our data set. So we would like to make this data set, turn it from the being wide to being tall and slim and create a separate column for the number of animals eaten and then the separate column for the types of animals eaten. So that's what we would like to see. And then obviously, as we have just two dragons, their name will be repeated in this column next to each animal they've eaten and the numbers, uh, number of animals of a certain type of animal eaten. So as I said, we would like to bring to re reshape this table from being wide to being tall and slim, but having um, a particular as a certain type of data in each column without mixing it. For example, like in this case, number of animals eaten with the types of animals eaten. So let's go back to Tableau Prep and see how we can quickly do it there. Um, Let's open uh, the connections pane and bring the new data set. Let's click on uh, plus in connections pane. Uh, it will be Microsoft Excel document again. Let's click on that. And let's go to our folder, which is called three pivot data sources. And there is only one uh, workbook. That's uh, again, best selling uh, books, but for the week of uh, 7th of March. So let's bring this one into Tableau Pro. Uh, so imagine we have been uh, receiving reports for our best-selling books in the format we had before, where we have one workbook with um, several sheets for each uh, best-selling list uh, separately. So we then need to, to union them. And then in March, the reporting system changed, and now the data set comes in a very different format. Let's bring the leaning step to actually see how the data looks like. So if you look at it, you can see that it comes in one sheet, as we can see here in the connections pane on the left, uh, the tables, there is only one, uh, the section shows just the one table for this week. But then this table have all the information in separate fields. Uh, for each separate list of best-selling books. So that's not a very useful format to work with because we can't really analyze um, the information in this format. So let's reshape this table and make it um, tall and slim rather than wide. So let's delete our cleaning step by right-clicking on it and just selecting remove. And instead, let's bring a pivot step. So uh, next to our input for this uh, week from March, let's click plus and select add pivot. So this brings us a new, um, new options pane where we can see which field, where we can select which fields we would like to pivot. So in our case, we just need to um, keep the rank as it is and pivot all other fields. So if you could uh, hold control button and just select all fields apart from rank and drag them into the pivoted fields uh, pane to the right and drop them there, you can see that uh, Tableau creates two new fields, one pivot names and one pivot values. And on the right, 
let's make this a little bit bigger. On the right, you can see the similar structure. You can see uh, cards for each field as an overview, and then the actual preview of your data in the data grid below. So we can see that uh, now we have uh, pivot names as the uh, names of our original um, fields from the previous data set, from, the, from our original data set. And then uh, values is the actual information from these fields, uh, the information about our books. And then the rank is the same. We didn't pivot on that. It kept it the same, but it mapped it to each of these pivot names. Um, so if you scroll further down, you see early and middle ranking goes up to 15, and then it restarts from one for hardcover fiction, and then it restarts further for uh, hardcover nonfiction, and so on and so forth. So that's the pivot step in Tableau Prep. Let's bring the cleaning step just to see how our date looks like. Again, let's click plus next to the pivot step and select add step. And that shows us the same view as we just saw that uh, we have three columns now instead of this um, several columns for each list. We have just three, which shows us exactly different information in each field. The, the list uh, for best-selling books, the information about the book, and the rank for this book, uh, for this particular list. I see that we are running, um, we are almost uh, done with our time for this uh, webinar. So I just wanted to um, walk you quickly through the other steps which are available in Tableau Prep. For example, the join step, which is uh, another way to reshape your data. Uh, so here we just bring two, we, we don't stack one data set uh, on top of each other, another, like we did in Union. Uh, but we bring two different data sets and want to see which uh, values in these different data sets are matching and which are not. Uh, that can be useful, for example, if we're looking at our orders and our returns, so we can see um, which orders using our order ID as a key field have been returned from table returns. And if we would, uh, there are several types of joins, and if we would like to see the outer join, uh, meaning that we would like to bring all the information from both tables together. We will have the four rows from the original orders table together with the return with the information from returns table, which will become our additional field, our additional column in this case. And if there are no values, like in this case, we have the return for order ID number two for the teapot, which comes in into the final in the joint data set, but we don't have any return information for the order ID number one. So that just brings us an empty, uh, a null, um, empty cell null value. Uh, another uh, type of join is uh, inner join. Uh, in this case, we would like to see only matched values from between two data sets. So bringing the same uh, example of orders and returns, we can see that uh, since there are only two returns for four orders, we will have only two um, rows in the final uh, data set, which will show us only the return products, the return orders. Um, that's uh, the, the Join step, um, I don't think we'll have time to cover in the webinar, but in the folder you have, uh, in the folder with the materials for this webinar, you will see uh, the starting flow for this uh, step and the finishing, so you can understand how you can join um, different data sets together. Um, and there we will, uh, you can work with the data set for books, for the best selling books for all 2018 and the uh, information about uh, books which uh, have been turned into movies. And another step in the uh, Tableau Prep, which we're worth looking at, is an aggregate step. Uh, that allows you to just summarize um, uh, information in your table together. And it's very useful if you have um, information, the two data sets uh, you'd like to bring together, and one of them is uh, at the different level of detail. 
so you would like to summarize the more detailed data set first and then uh, join it um, and or somehow bring it together with another data set. It's also useful when you just want to see um, totals for certain groups. For example, in this case, we have again an example of our dragons and animals they eat in, and we would like to see um, how many each of the dragons eaten. So that uh, can be done with the aggregate step. We can also see which animal, how many of each type of animals have been eaten. Or we would like we can see a total of all animals eaten. So that's uh, that can be done in the aggregate step in the tableau prep. Again, in the folder for aggregate step and the materials you download it, you will have workflows um, for each of this um, step, and you can see how you can use aggregate step in the tableau prep. Uh, for that, uh, I was going to use um, the sales information. Uh, which provides you uh, details about transactions for um, a certain period for a uh, for month and uh, you might use this to find out for example which book have been sold most or which uh, what's the revenue for each particular book or what's the average discount for each particular book uh, looking at the information some aggregating this information for, from the monthly period uh, from the uh, transaction per row uh, type of data and just bringing it, uh, grouping it together and find photos. And uh, to conclude this webinar, I would like to mention a couple of uh, resources you might use to learn more about Tableau Prep and to uh, understand how different functionality works. Uh, so the master Tableau Prep uh, is a very useful um, useful resource on uh, Tableau website. So uh, you can follow this link to learn more about the software. And uh, another way to, uh, when you learn about software, you would like to develop your skills. So I would highly recommend to participate in the Prepping Data Challenges, which was set up by one of our coaches at the data school, Carl. And, um, there you can see on a weekly basis new challenges uh, being uploaded and uh, a week afterwards the solutions uh, presented as well but that's great uh, community project to participate and to see uh, what can you do with software and how you can use the existing functionality to achieve the goals uh, of your cleaning um, and the reshaping data activities so i hope the webinar was helpful um, I hope that you are going to use Tableau Prep more and uh, you will solve problems you have now with uh, data cleaning and data reshaping uh, much faster using Tableau Prep. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but I don't think I don't see anything in the chat. So thank you for joining me today on this afternoon and I hope this was helpful. Feel free to download the materials uh, from FileShare and uh, practice your Tableau prep skills. Thank you very much and uh, see you at the next webinars.